Hi, first graders. So today we're going to read The Donkey and the Farmer for a second time. So remember, this time you're going to join in with me and we're going to read together. So let's read the title together. The Donkey and the Farmer. An Aesop Fable. Retold by Marta Magellan. Illustrated by Judy Love. And as we read this book today, we're going to be stopping and thinking about how the characters are feeling at different points in the book and how you know how they're feeling. So keep that in mind as we're reading how the characters are feeling. The Donkey and the Farmer, an Ace of Fable. Okay, so let's get ready to read together. Donkey was very sad. I eat dry hay every day, he said, and I sleep on scratchy hay every night. I'm sick of hay. Then Donkey heard the bird, the cat, and the dog inside the farmer's house. I'll go see what they're doing, he said. Tweet. Meow, woof. Donkey went to the house and poked his head inside. Wow, said Donkey. The bird, the cat, and the dog are all eating delicious food. Donkey smacked his lips. This is the place for me. Then the bird began to sing. The farmer smiled and gave the bird some berries. Donkey said, I want some juicy berries too. So he opened his mouth and... He honk, he honk. Donkey tried to sing. The farmer, the dog, and the cat all covered their ears. Stop, shouted the farmer. That sounds awful. You're not a bird, donkey. Then the farmer sat down with his cat. Good kitty, he said, petting the cat. Donkey wanted the farmer to pet him too. So he took a flying leap and crack, splat. Donkey fell on top of the farmer. Ouch, the farmer said. Get off me, donkey. You're not a cat. Now the dog got up and did a little dance. What fun, the farmer said. Good dog. Donkey wanted the farmer to like him too. So he got up to dance and... Bang! Crash! Donkey knocked over a table, smashed into a lamp, and pulled down the birdcage. Now the farmer was angry. Get out, Donkey, he yelled. Go back to the barn. So Donkey walked slowly back to the barn. It was a sad day to be a donkey. Okay, so let's stop here and think about how is the farmer feeling about Donkey being in the house? So I want you to name the feeling, how he's feeling, 
and then two ways that you know that. So you're going to pause the video here and think about how is the farmer feeling about donkey being in the house and how you know, have two ways that you know how he's feeling. Okay, so let's come back together. So I'm thinking that the farmer is angry and I know for a couple of, of reasons. First, I can look at the picture and I'm seeing by the look on his face and the way he's pointing, he looks angry. So I can tell by the illustration, that helps me out. Also in the text, it said, now the farmer was angry. So it told me he was angry. But even if it didn't have that line there, look at the next line. So he yells, get out donkey, he yelled, go back to the barn. So because he's yelling, get out donkey, that tells me that he was angry. So I know by what he said, what the farmer said, I know he's angry by his words. And I also know by how his face looked and his actions kind of pointing and, and looking angry. So that's how I know the farmer was angry. Okay, let's keep going. Remember, we're reading all together. In the morning, the farmer said, I need you to pull the apple cart to market, donkey. Donkey didn't get up. Please, donkey, you're the only one who can pull the cart. If you pull the cart, you can live in the house, said the farmer. So donkey pulled the apple cart to the market. The farmer was very happy. Good work, donkey. When we get home, you can move into the house. It was a good day to be a donkey. So let's stop here again and think about donkey this time. So donkey was sad before. Before this page, he was sad. How do you think he's feeling now? So just like before, I want you to name the feeling and then how do you know that? So pause the video here and take some time to think about or share with a family member, how is Donkey feeling now and how do you know? Okay, let's come back. So I'm thinking that Donkey is feeling happy because he looks happy. If you look at how he looked on this page, he's looking sad, right? So he's looking much happier here. So I can tell by the illustration. I can also tell by what the farmer said. The farmer said, when we get home, you can move into the house. And that's what Donkey wanted. So I'm thinking he's happy because he's getting what he wanted. It also said it was a good day to be a donkey. So that's another clue that I have that he is feeling happy. Okay, let's keep going. Remember, we're all reading together. That night, the farmer put out dinner. Donkey tried some berries. Yuck, said Donkey as he squirted juice all over. Yuck, he said again, as he tried the fish and the bones. Soon it was bedtime. There's no place for me to sleep, and I'm so hungry and tired, Donkey moaned. I'm going back to the barn. Look, 
fresh hay and a big red apple, said Donkey. He lay down on a pile of nice new hay and fell asleep. It was very good indeed to be a donkey. Okay, so let's stop here. And I want you to think about now, how does donkey feel and how you know? So once again, you're going to pause the video and think about how does donkey feel. So you're going to name the feeling and then how do you know from the text? Okay, so let's come back together. So I can tell first again by the illustration. I can tell by how he's looking. He's looking happy. So I think he's happy. The other, the other reasons I think he's happy is that he was saying in the house that he didn't have a place. He was hungry and he didn't have a place to sleep. So here he says, look, fresh hay and a big red apple. So that takes care of that problem of not having a place to sleep because he can sleep on the hay and there's an apple for him to eat. So he has a place to sleep and he has something to eat. So now he won't be tired and he won't be hungry. And it also said it was very good indeed to be a donkey. So those are the reasons that I know he was happy at the end of the story. Okay, first graders, that's it for today. Remember, you can always go back and reread the book again a third time or a fourth time if you want. I hope you enjoyed the book, and we will see you again soon. Take care. Bye.